Cilla's walled towers and Medea's wintry climb have I advanced to Arabia, a land of promise, and Asia's length and breadth outstretched along the brackish sea. Many a fair walled towns, people with mingled grace of Helens and barbarians. <laughs> but Thebes, <laughs> Thebes is the first city in the land of Hellas that I have made. Ring with shouts of joy, girt with fond skin. With Thersus, my eye had found fear. <laughs> Since my mother's sisters, who least of all should have done it, Denied that Dionysus was the son of Zeus. Wherefore, these are they whom I have driven frenzied from their homes. And so they dwell in the hills with minds distraught. And I have forced them to assume the dress of my orgies. All the women folk of Cadmus are stuck, one and all alike. And there they sit upon the roofless rocks, beneath the green pine trees, <laughs> mingling with the son of thieves. For this city must learn, however loth, seeing it is not initiated in my Bacchic rites. And I must take up my mother's defense by proving to mortals that the child she bore Zeus is a god. Now, will I prove to all the race of Cadmus that I am a deity? But, if this city of Thebes, in fury, takes up arms against me and seeks to drive my votaries from the mountains, I will meet them at the head of my rebel route. This is why I have assumed mortal form, and put off my godhead to take man's nature. Oh, ye women,
has really reached me. I, I hear that our women folk have left their homes on pretense of bhakti rights. And on the wooded hills rush wildly to and fro, honoring their entire death this new god, Dionysus, whoever he is! <laughs> and in the midst of each rebel round, the brimming wine bowl stands in. One by one, they steal away the lonely spots to gratify their lust, <laughs> pretending their reign is bent on sacrifice when it is Aphrodite their place before the body of God. They say that he's a stranger to their own, a, a trickster, and a, and a sorcerer from Lydia's land, golden hair and perfume blocks. The flush of wine upon his face. <laughs> and in his eyes, each grace that Aphrodite gives. By day and night, he lingers in our maiden's company on pretense of teaching pocket rights. Oh, once let me catch him within these walls, and I will put an end to his fiercest beating and waving of tresses, for I will cut his head from his body. Bitter, right? 